Good morning guys, today we're doing another tile repair. Uh, you see this tile looks completely good, good condition, but the owner has a leak right on the valley. Get out of chopping! Uh, we're gonna start removing all the tiles. I'm gonna take another video today, so for the, just for the uh, roofing community out there, okay? Um, <clears throat> See, we're gonna remove the tiles along. I'll show you before we remove everything so you can always when you walk on tiles walk on the on the lap or the overlap. Okay, you don't walk in the middle because you're gonna break it. You see what I'm walking? Check this out. You see it right there. Okay, this is the valley that's leaking. Okay, um I'm gonna remove all the tiles all the way up there to check where the water is coming from. My friend already, he checked the water. A ver, levántale, güey. My friend right here, he removed the tiles already. And I'm going to show you what's underneath. See what's underneath? All these debris. See what, how, how the water runs this way? So I'm going to do exactly what I've been doing on the last few repairs. See it? See how the water accumulates and come this way and leaks somewhere. See how much water it has underneath? way too much water so I'm going to fold the little you know what they made a mistake the roofer here they made a mistake they use a 18 inch valley instead of the 24 inch please use a 24 this is 18 inch this is this valley is for for shingles not for tile but anyway they made a mistake already and I'm here to fix it you see how much water you see underneath these tiles I can see the water marks here that means there's a lot of water on this side and on that side so we're gonna start removing everything mr. Chaping is gonna show you how to do it wow. okay so the guy has a leak down there that means all the water accumulating from here all the way down there finally causes damage on that side and cause damage into the property all the wall it's pouring with water so this is the only way to fix it guy there's no broken tiles at all here everything looks normal but still the guy has leaks so this is uh i'm gonna show you how to fix it today chapin empieza de arriba no chapin dile hola a la cámara algo que le quiere decir a luisito que me la pelle ok luisito que se la pellizcas todavía dice que luisito que que se te va a jugar una unas 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 carreras en papel Dice Luisito que se te reta a, a empapelar con su, con su martillito ese que trae imán. Simón, dice que sí. ¿Cuánto le apuestas, Chapín? Que te apuestan $500, este, Luis, tu empapelar una casa es el Chapín, con tu martillito acochado que traes. ¿Y al Parra cuánto le apuestas? Un quinientón también. Un quinientón a ti también, Parra. Ok, guys. Ah... Uh, uh, we're gonna show you how to do this, okay? Today, we have to fix everything. We have to remove all the tiles down there. Everything has to be removed. Chapin, we're gonna empieza arriba, wey. Is this the mano? No, pues quita allá, wey, para poder cortar el valley también yo. Pues sí, acá, wey. No, wey, más allá, no. Acá. Si vos querés o no. Como vos, como vos querás, me vale pija a mí. Okay. Tú, tú eres el que sabe, Chapin. Tú eres el experto. A mí me vale pija. See, usually right here on the top, there's no there's no damage. Even though there's you, need, you see how much water, because through the years you know all the debris. You know when it's windy, they come around here. So you have to remove all the tiles. You see how much debris is underneath. I mean, I'm taking this video because the homeowner told me, he goes, "Are you sure you're gonna stop the leak?" And I told him, "Yes, I will." This is what I do every day. Well, he doesn't know me. He was referred to me by one of my friends. But my friend told him I'm a good roofer. Quita esta noche aquí. Esa la la ponemos en el valle, ¿no? Sí. Okay. Uh, we found a broken tile here, but that's not the cause of the problem. And the the cause it's another thing. Okay. You see how we're removing the tiles, and we're saving the cuts in the same row. See, we put them in the same row so that way we don't get them we don't get them lost. Chapin, le voy a quitar otra teja acá, ¿no? Para que me pueda dar chance de empapelar, ya. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna remove an extra pile here so that we'll have time to put the paper down. See? It's a mess. It's you see how much water, see how the paper is damaged? How much they up papel, verdad? Huh? You see how the how the actually this this valley it's it's too small. You see how much water? Wow. I think this is the worst uh, valley I found this week. Well, I found worse, but this is the worst valley I found this week. See how much water? Wow, that's a lot of water. See, I'm taking the video so you can so you can learn how to how to remove the towel. You just, you have to pull them up and down, up and down, up and down. It's easier to remove. It doesn't take too long. So don't be afraid to pull up and then down. You pull them. What? By, by pulling up, you're removing the, the... See how he does it? Y le estoy enseñando, Chapin. I'm going to try you guys to, to teach you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to... I just want you to see how, how it's done. For all the roofers out there that don't know how to do repairs, okay, this is how you do it. Okay, you see how much... How much it breathes? This is the problem with tile. But, uh, well... This is what it is. Okay, guys, um... Uh, any questions subscribe to my channel please give me a like and hopefully I have a lot of followers I have, I have like 130 followers hopefully I can get more I have like 130,000 150,000 visits on my channel so hopefully I get more what else uh, I'm just trying to 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 share my experience with you guys okay hopefully you like it ese va acá chapino donde va Okay, I'll take some pictures right now too. Wow, yeah, Chapin. Está bien madreada esta, sí, verdad? A ver, Chapin, a tomarle fotos y videos. Sí, aquí se le va la luz. Sí. Ahí arriba igual también. Yeah, I'm taking some pictures for the homeowner so he can, so he knows. All right, and this is uh, this is a house on 1323 East uh, Fernwood. Uh, I don't remember the name of the owner. He was referred to me. He never told me his name, but sir, this video is for you. Remember, you asked me yesterday if I was gonna stop the leak, and I say yes, I will. Well, I'm gonna send you this video when I get done. Excuse me, when I get done, and then uh, hopefully you like it. See how much. much damage. Okay, I'll take another video later on. Bye guys. Hello guys, just want to show you a quick thing. We found a hole right here. This is where the water is going through inside the wall. Right here the paper is still holding down. Still holding the water so it doesn't leak. Right here also even though the the uh, the water is running on top of the felt right here on this area, it doesn't leak. This the paper is still, it's not in good condition but it's still holding there. So, but that right there, there's a hole in the paper. That's why he has a leak, and this is the first leak he has. He says he, he lives here. So, but the water has been running on this paper for several years, but the paper, you know, holds for it really holds for a long time. So, that's why when I do my roof, I put two two layers of felt, two layers of felt, either 30 or 40. Ne never use 15 pounds, okay? 15 pounds is just for shingles. That's what I found the wa the hole right there. Okay, guys, uh, and this is how it is. Okay, later, and hopefully you like it. Okay, guys, this is the. We're almost done with this. I just put the felt. We cleaned everything. We put the felt like like underneath existing, you know, like like overlapping, four inches. Okay, there's always gonna be someone out there that says, "Oh, I can do it better. I can do it this way." I just want to tell you guys, this is the cheapest, fastest, and very effective way to fix it. Of course, you can remove the whole roof and put uh, the best underlayment, but how much is that going to cost you? Companies are probably going to remove all this area. That area used to charge you $3,000 when the, when the cost is just a little hole right there. That's all you need to fix, a little hole. But I'm just doing this because I'm going to fold the valley to prevent the water to pass on this side in the future so that water is never gonna run on this side anymore never because I'm gonna fold the edge of the 
the edge of the valley okay guys that's why I remove everything and then I refelt it if I want to use to fix the leak you can just put some some uh, roof cement and fold the valley and don't even put some new felt and it's not gonna leak but still I just want to play it safe I want to do it the right way okay so there's always gonna be out there saying oh I can do it better I can do it this way but no this is the fastest cheapest and very effective way to do a repair that's gonna last you for at least at least let's say another 15 20 years at least if not until you change the roof okay guys so for all the haters out there this is for you this is the fastest way to fix the roof bye bye and you see guys over there oh before I I put this uh, video uh, pause okay some company came over there and charged the whole morning at least at least from seven to six hundred dollars just to put that big plastic tarp on top of the house just to put the tarp on it okay and then later they're gonna send someone like me to do the leak and charge them another one three thousand dollars you need this is the way to make money I'm not here to rip off anyone I'm here to save money to everybody and yet put my experience to test um, all my results are 100% warranty thank you guys and remember guys before after you install the valley make sure you fold the little edge so to prevent the water from going this way or this way you see how I'm doing it just hit it with the edge of the hammer and that's gonna create the fold okay you see it how Chopin is doing it this is the way you do it okay and then seal the seal the uh, exposed nails on the valley or if you want to keep it down just just put the, the nail on the outside and just fold it just fold it a little bit this is how you do it okay you fold it, the edge see and now it looks like this you see it has like a little like, like a little tongue you see it you see that little edge right there that's gonna prevent the water from coming this way and then it's gonna raise the tile so always gonna be like a there's always gonna be like a like a little channel underneath that's gonna there, there's gonna be an, an space in between the tile and the thing so it won't it won't create the the debris accumulation all the debris when it rains is just gonna go underneath it's gonna get washed out they're gonna end up on the street but at least they're not gonna they're not gonna cause any leaks so this is the most effective way to do it okay Charlito, por favor, no hagas tu bayuncada, tú tampoco parrandero. Ignacio. Oh, Ignacio, tú ese pinche Ignacio está mongol todavía. Pero parrandero todavía que se la da de muy acá y todavía le falta, todavía para orinar se sienta. Bye, guys, and hopefully you learned something from this video. Uh, greetings to everybody. Later. Hello, guys, this is Eric. Uh, we got done with the repair. Uh, we're taking all the stuff down and uh, we put the tiles back and uh, what else uh, well we just we're, we're done we're done with this repair and uh, hopefully you, you guys like it uh, if you like it subscribe to my channel please <laughs> and the other thing I was gonna tell you uh, basic thing you know just uh, make sure you felt uh, the roof okay right here it looks like somebody did a repair before they changed the broken tiles and I don't know this one was not done by me this is my first time here but like I told you there's a lot of tile houses around here uh, that's the valley so the water now is gonna run freely all the way down uh, I changed the I didn't change the felt I just uh, put a new felt over the existing and tuck it under underneath the old one and then I fold the edge of the, the, the valley to prevent the water from going that way does this repair is gonna last I would say let's say like 20 years 30 years or it's gonna last the same as the uh, as the edge of the I mean as the uh, edge of the roof um, any questions subscribe to my channels again hopefully you like it and this is Eric Garcia thank you very much for watching and greetings to all the good roofers uh, greetings to Parrandero, Luisito, Jonathan, Carlos, Miguelón, who else? Uh, El Morro, Chapin, es el numero uno. Well, greetings to all the good roofers out there. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you like my video. If you have any 
any ideas give, give them to me i need them bye bye